everybody. I'm Chris, and this is Is It Worth It, y'all? And that's Greg behind me, and he's he's cleaning up because we're getting ready to process meatloaf if he doesn't run me over. <laughs> so we're getting ready to start our meatloaf preservation. We got some ground chuck at the grocery store the other day. We got about six pounds of it, and we're going to take you through the process of making our meatloaf and putting it in the freezer. Yes, we freeze our meatloaf. We've tried to can meatloaf. We don't like it. We like it frozen better. So we're going to make six pound and a half meatloafs today where we hide a bunch of really cool vegetables in it and we promise it's going to taste good. So stick around while we prepare our six meatloafs to put in the freezer. To continue our haul of putting up food, we have purchased six pounds of ground chuck and we are going to turn these six pounds of ground chuck into meatloaf. So this is the best way I have found to hide vegetables in food so kids don't whine about it. So what we're going to add is carrots, celery, bell pepper, onions, zucchini powder. This is the secret ingredient. And we're going to jazz it up and we're going to add some jalapeno powder to it. We may add some different seasonings or whatnot, but this is the base of what we're going to start with. We're also going to sneak in some mushroom powder. And these are the, uh, these are the freeze dried mushrooms that we did um a while back and then i forgot to go grab my cornmeal because i like cornmeal in my meatloaf we are also going to use code three's top gun rub which is the everything blend i just think it goes really good with meatloaf all right first things first we are going to throw all this meat in this 20 quart bowl because i want to have room to move in here is okay, so we're going to make six meatloaves and I try to make six one pound meatloaves which once we start adding all this stuff it's probably going to be like one and a half pounds but we're going to we know we're going to make six meatloaves all right with every meatloaf great meatloaf recipe I've ever made it's really fly by the seat of your pants and throw in there whatever you've got so I think we're going to start with like this jar looks like three cups of freeze-dried bell pepper. Yeah, pretty close. Sweet. And I think we're going to do the same with freeze-dried onions. I love emptying jars. Let's get this one open. Put another one in there. So that's about a half a cup per per meatloaf. So let's do the secret weapon zucchini powder. We'll do three tablespoons and start there and see what that looks like. Mm, no, I'm going more. Cool. All right. The mushroom powder, I'll only go three. stuff smells so good and then we're gonna do the blend I think I'm gonna do one per but we're not gonna make them heaping we're gonna, we're gonna flatten these out and make them proper because I don't want it to be too crazy on the spicy and then we've there has been a request to add the jalapeno powder so we will do three teaspoons. Start there. And the way I like to do this is when we get this, when we get this going, we'll fry up a patty just to test it. So that way, if we need to add something, we can. So there is salt in the Code 3 blend. So I am going to add black pepper to this. And then we're going to have to, uh, we are going to do carrots and celery, but we're going to chop those up and add those in here in just a second. Get some black, black pepper. Ooh, sweet, a new one. These are child proof, I think. There we go. It's close enough. So we're going to go one two three tablespoons looks good to me 
Okay, now on to the cornmeal. I am going to say, we're gonna start with half a cup per, so I need three cups of cornmeal. We'll start with that because we need to still add eggs and all of these vegetables. So we'll be right back um, after we process the veggies, get those in, and then we'll start mixing. So we got all the veggies, Just carrots shredded up real good. Get these in the bowl. I'm gonna move this over. We'll add the celery. I think we'll probably start with half a dozen eggs, maybe. We'll start there and see how that goes. These are water glass eggs, so I'm gonna. Oh, wow. Look, seven month old egg. How cool is that? Two. Since these have been water glass for seven months, I like to pop them in a, or crack them into a separate bowl eat one at a time because if I crack them directly into the meatloaf mixture and it's a bad egg and then well I've just wasted a lot of time energy and money because now I have to throw the whole batch out cool there's six and then we're gonna add probably eight ounces of milk that's actually like half milk half half and half because I ran out of milk and we're gonna stir with gloves so here we go the fun part and the best utensil to make meatloaf is your hands yeah you can try to use a spoon you can try to do whatever but i find the best utensil is definitely your hands thinking we're probably going to need more eggs because it's dry. That's pretty meatloaf right there. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Let's scooch this down. Let's divvy this up into six equal loaves and then we'll weigh them. Yeah. Oh no, those will fit. What are we doing? Are we shaping? Are we cooking them or what are you doing? I don't know. What are we doing? I'm freezing these. Oh, okay. Okay, I was cooking freezing. Oh no. Okay. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Who needs more? 
Okay, these look pretty even now. But I am going to get the kitchen scale out and we're going to weigh them just to see what we ended up with because we were like right at six pounds of hamburger. Yes, my scale's clean. Let's see. We are on pounds and ounces, so let's go. One pound, nine ounces. One pound, 11 ounces. One pound, 14 ounces. Okay, so we need to go. One pound, 11. One pound, 12. One pound, 12. Cool, these are close. One pound, 12. All right. One pound, 13. All right, well, cool. One pound, 13. So these are really, these are pound and, pound and three quarter, maybe? I'm happy with it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, just like we do with our hamburger, we're going to make footballs and we're going to get them into freezer bags. We're going to vacuum seal them and we're going to put them in the freezer. And then when it's time to make them, we can form them into a loaf pan and uh, bake them off. So now we have six meat loaves ready for dinner when you don't have time to cook a whole meal. There you have it. A meatloaf that's going to last in your freezer for 18 months. Good. Six meatloafs ready to go in the freezer. Well, I hope that was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. So that, I think we've, we may go get some more hamburger meat and just freeze it as hamburger meat just because it's such a good price. And I think we're we're at 17 pounds of hamburger meat in the refrigerator and we're not ready to buy a half a beef yet. So I think we're probably going to go get one more round of hamburger meat and then we'll pretty much be set for a while. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until we see you on the next video, bye y'all.